Welcome back, everyone. This is W4K WS. That's whiskey number four kilo whiskey Sierra. Your host here today and uh, operator Tony here, Tango Ocean November Yankee. Thank you. If you're watching uh, this video, you're probably following back up on the third video here uh, that I will be uh, uh, showing showcasing today on the follow up to uh, the MD uh, uh, the MD390 here. Uh, the UV uh, 390 plus MD UV 390 plus this is the third video my first two videos received over 15,000 views combined I know that's not a lot but uh, it is for a small YouTube channel like myself just trying to learn my way and always running unscripted here uh, no uh, no affiliate links nothing just trying to provide an update uh, for you here on the review, a true review of a, of a radio that I've had now for 18 months and, and been uh, using religiously every single day. I will also be providing an update on what other radios have come through here and have gone in that time. So yeah, uh, let's start the video by saying I am still a big fan of the TYT MD UV390+. Plus. It's still running the same battery I started with 18 months ago, and it's still holding a fairly good charge. Uh, I would say if I had to guesstimate how many charges I have through this battery at this point, I would I would uh, guesstimate over 300 charges. So um, still very impressed with the radio. The radio has uh, suffered many, many, many falls uh, to this day, and everything is still intact and holding strong. One of the things that I did discover in the process of trying different antennas, uh, and it's very sad, is that uh, I did purchase a couple of Diamond uh, SRH77 Charlie Alphas from Amazon and quickly realized that there are a lot of really good copies. And what I mean by that is that the packaging material on, on these copies on Amazon are really really good they look like real diamond antennas but you will quickly find out that if you test them uh the swr is all over the place uh i recommend and this is not an affiliate uh a punch uh, this is not an affiliate plug but i strictly order now all my handy antennas from dx engineering uh, or HRO. Typically, uh, DX Engineering, uh, they're really, really good. Uh, they have really, really good customer service, and they ship uh, typically the same day. So, word of caution on buying uh, Diamond or Nagoya antennas on uh, on uh, on Amazon. Um, uh, very, very cautious. Uh, I ordered four different uh, uh, Diamond antennas, and none of them was able to meet specifications. As soon as I ordered them from DX Engineering, everything was good. So, uh, yeah, so my new favorite antenna and best measured antenna for uh, for this radio so far is the Diamond SRH77 Charlie Alpha. This antenna has been on in the market for a very long time, so highly recommended. Highly, highly recommend that antenna. Uh, and also the Nagoya, the 771. I've had this antenna for the majority of the time I've used this radio and absolutely love it. So what can I say about this radio? Wow, it's been all over the place. Uh I've used this radio all over. Uh, it's still holding up very well. Uh, still has the same Open GD77 software that I put on it uh, 18 months ago, uh, 18, 18, 19 months ago. So uh, yeah, I, I'm very happy. I will, uh, I, you know, recommend if, if you want to find out what software is running in here to view my first and second video. You know, it's a shameless plug there just to get a little more views on my channel. And I always recommend if you really like uh, the, the content I'm providing and the information, please subscribe and uh, and turn on those alerts. It will really help me out. Again, I always run unscripted. So, uh, yeah, so just for the record here, this is the same 5-watt model, the MD UV390 5-watt model. I understand there is a 10-watt model now and uh, some various other models. I did buy my uh, radio. Uh, again, this is not an affiliate uh, uh, plug. But I did buy my radio from Buy Two Way Radios initially, and I recommend using them for these TYT radios. They're one of the major importers or resellers of these radios, and I consider them very reputable. And uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, excellent, excellent little radio. So what radios have been through here and gone since then? And I, at the end of the day, just default back to the TYT, um, a D seventy five Kenwood. Uh, came through here 
Very good radio, very expensive, horrible battery life is unacceptable in my opinion. When you spend that amount of money, the, effic the efficiency is just not there. I think that uh, that radio has some room for improvement in the software, uh, you know, to limit some of the some of the uh, some of the battery draw, maybe options to turn off certain features. Uh, but uh, very high quality Kenwood, nothing nothing to say bad about Kenwood. I just uh, find it unacceptable that the battery life on that radio is is that bad. Uh, what else came through here? An FT five D, uh, um, the Fox Tango uh, five from Yesu. Uh, you know, good little radio, great for APRS horrible to send text messages uh the battery's okay um uh, came here and went uh and it's gone so uh still still the default i'm going back to is the tyt here 390 again i i'm i am not trying to compare this radio to those radio but it seems like for the money uh would i buy this radio again in 2025 absolutely 100 percent there are many dmr radios out there now in the market uh, but I would, uh, I would definitely after 19 month recommend this radio. It survived many, many falls, dozens of falls, and it's still, uh, the antenna port is still holding strong here. So, uh, uh, great little radio still operating on the same GD77 operating system that I had initially in it. I've done a ton of APRS work with this, uh, uh, he, uh here locally and on the road. So I'm very happy. Very, very happy with these radios. So uh, just wanted to follow up with a quick video for everyone and uh, and uh, give them an update. I've received thousands of emails asking for help uh, installing GD77 on this radio. The, the best, mo most up-to-date information for installing GD77 on this radio is on the GD77 website. And kudos to, to those guys who uh, put all the time and work and energy into into updating that software i personally have not updated the software on this radio since day one when i when i when i you know when i installed the gd77 uh operating system on here or firmware uh because i i don't have a need uh to update it where radio works all the features work the gps works um you know uh so i don't have a need to do an update um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm a big, uh, firm believer of not needing to, to do updates for, for, you know, you have to have a reason in my opinion. So, uh, to do an update. So that's my, my, uh, train of thoughts. So yeah, the radio is holding up. Excellent. Uh, you know, uh, one thing if, if TYT ever gets to watch any of my videos, uh, you know, make these a little bit wider at the bottom just so they can stand a little better. You know, a couple of millimeters, you know, 10 millimeters thicker at the bottom really goes a long way. That's one th bad thing about this radio and many other radios today. You know, it, it's a pain, but uh, it, it's a small, it's a small want. Um, the GD77 uh, firmware really opens up the radio for, for a lot of possibilities. It's easier to navigate. A lot of my other STM chipped radios have the GD77 software, but I will say that the stock software, uh, I've seen other TYT radios, uh, stock software, while clunky, works absolutely well, uh, ab absolutely good. Uh, it's just a little bit clunkier to operate and get through there, but uh, definitely the, the Open GD77 makes this a breeze to work with. The fact you can lower the power all the way down to 50 milliwatt um, is great. So, yeah, the battery's still good. Uh, it's still uh, holding up very, very well. It's been in, in the weather. Uh, it's still working. It's holding up. Um, what I would recommend uh, to buy with this radio, uh, I purposely have not bought a second battery just to get the, you know, we're talking 19 months of, of, of everyday use. Uh, you know, I really use this radio a lot more now. In the last 10 months, uh, I've used this radio a lot more. I've moved away from all my Motorola handies. Uh, for convenience, you know, and, and uh, the code plug uh, with the Motorola is, is, it's not hard, but it's just inconvenient. So I've moved away from that. So this radio has really seen a surge of use uh, on FM, DMR, APRS, you name it. And it's just really held up well. Yeah, so please uh, ask any questions you like. Um, I won't get into installing the software. I've made it that clear. Uh, I've made it clear that this is not the 10-watt model. But uh, will, would I buy this radio today 
as a starter radio, a DMR radio, an everyday radio? Absolutely. Uh, improvements have been made uh, with the with this antenna. I, I've seen some major improvements with the Diamond antenna. Uh, and I'm a big fan of these diamond antennas. Uh, so another radio that came and went through here was the Yesu VX6. Uh, very capable radio. I just did not like the sound of that radio at all. I'm a big fan fan of FM. And I think this TYT um, is very close to my uh, to the speaker. And I've said this before. I know I'm repeating myself. But the, the quality of the speaker in this radio I think is, is excellent. Um uh, you know, my number one choice for the quality of speaker on a handy is probably the Yesu. Uh, the FT60 is my favorite, but uh, this radio is a second close. And on DMR, this radio sounds really good, really, really good uh, for the price. Again, keeping price in perspective, please don't compare this radio to a D75, to an ICOM 52 Alpha, uh, right? But uh, for an everyday driver, solid DMR performance, and, and just... You know, with Open GD uh, seventy seven, uh, you know, just a capability of of you know importing up to, I think they're up to like two hundred ninety seven thousand contacts, and this this I think this will hold up to three hundred fifty four hundred thousand. So, uh, tons of capability left on this radio. Battery is excellent. I mean, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm really impressed. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to follow up. Uh, Nineteen months almost to the day. I bought this from uh, to Buy Two Way Radio. I've had some other business with them on, on some of the other radios that they sell and, and some accessories. I'm really happy with them. Again, a non-affiliate uh, plug there. Uh, and for antennas, uh, make sure you're buying uh, antennas for handies or, or you know anything else from a reputable uh, dealer. That's one, one, one of the accessories you definitely don't want to mess up on. Uh, and uh, I've gone away from using these tiny antennas altogether. Um you know, it, you know, as it turns out in practice, they're nice around the house, but you'll have to leave all of a sudden in a rush and then you have to change antenna. So, you know what? I just uh, I just use the uh, the diamond or the Nagoya as I see uh, as I see the need for it. So I've used this radio on the road, mainly with my open spot Four pro and uh, it works really well. Uh, open spot Four pro excellent hotspot, little pricey. Well worth the money when you think about what the, the the capabilities and the features in this unit here. I'll have a video on that in the near future, but there are dozens of videos out there about it anyway. So just wanted to follow up. 19 months, uh, almost 18, 19, 18 months, I would say, uh, to the day. And uh, this is my third video. So check out my first and second video. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I have made some QSL cards here. I just wanted to showcase them here in my on my video and uh yeah uh reach out to me i'll be more than happy to send you one or we can uh have a qso on hf and uh we'll be happy to send uh, my qsl card to you i am going to try to uh, be a little more professional here on 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 youtube and invest in some software maybe for editing these videos and adding an intro and uh, a video uh, and, and maybe seek some help from my friend in Miami, um, uh, Marcelo. Uh, so uh, anyways, everyone, have a great night. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, uh, any questions you have on the uh, on the MD uh, UV390 Plus. This is the Plus version with the GPS uh, and the encryption, which we don't use. OpenGD77 has no support for it. So, and even if they did, we're ham radio operators, so we don't, we really don't encrypt anything. But the quality of this radio, I maintain, is still very good in 2025. And at around $120. Uh, you'll be hard pressed to find a better deal. Uh, again, this is a 18 month review of an everyday workhorse, uh, the TYT MD UV 390 plus seven, three, everyone, uh, kept it short this time, about 15 minutes. Uh, please subscribe if you like what you see and, uh, you know, drop me a line and ideas for a video and, uh, any other questions you may have. I'm always on, uh, on uh, on HF, uh, it, I'm easy to find. And uh, seven three, this is W four KWS operator Tony saying, "Good night." Going QRT.